Let's have a look at the Lime Scooter. It weighs around 28 kilograms. It has a 350 watt rear hub motor, one kilowatt hour of battery, a range of 20 miles and 15 miles per hour top speed. Its mileage therefore is 20 miles per kilowatt hour. On the other hand, let's have a look at the Tesla Model 3. It weighs 1624 kilograms. Its motor has a power of 336 kilowatts, top speed of 125 miles per hour. The total battery pack capacity is of 60 kilowatt hour and range of 260 miles. The Tesla therefore has a mileage of 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour. And this really begs the question, why can we not have a low cost car that falls in between? Perhaps a two seater that has more than 350 watt power of the line scooter, but a lot less power than the 336 kilowatts of Tesla. Why can we not have a vehicle that has a battery capacity of more than one kilowatt hour of the line, but less than the 60 kilowatt hour of Tesla Model 3? Turns out, now there is a car that is trying to capture that niche. It is the Scott Solar by Scott Mobility. This small two-seater car has a total of 4 kilowatts of motor power. This is indeed 11 times more power than your 350 watt line bike, but a lot less power than the 336 kilowatt Tesla. This car is not built for 0 to 60. In fact, the Scott Solar cannot even touch 60 miles per hour. It has a top speed of just 28 miles per hour. It is not designed for speed. It is designed for efficiency. This 350 kilogram vehicle gives a mileage of 12 miles per kilowatt hour, which is almost three times more than the Tesla. It is designed for inner city travel. The Scott Solar takes only one third of the space of a normal car when parked. But its best feature is that while it is parked, the 1.6 square meter of the solar panel on top provides up to 360 watts of electricity during peak times and charges the batteries. It provides that power even on the go. In fact, the design philosophy of this car was to reduce the emphasis on the battery, increase the panel area, thereby increasing the solar yield and decreasing the energy usage of the battery. This design rule keeps the vehicle lightweight, that is just 350 kilograms, and this is exactly what gives the Scott Solar its high efficiency. The battery is modular and swappable. Each battery pack has a capacity of 1.6 kilowatt hour, and up to four of these can be mounted. Therefore, the total available battery capacity is 6.4 kilowatt hour, giving a total range of 62 miles or 100 kilometers. The mentioned range also includes the distance that will be added by solar power during the day. This portion of the range has been called solar range by the manufacturers. The solar range in the Netherlands during summer can add 13 miles to the total and up to 19 miles in Spain. It is interesting to note that the average microcar usage is around 8 miles per day. This implies that for many users, no connection to the charger will be ever needed. Although the car dimensions are just 2 meters in length, 1.2 meters in width, and 1.6 meters in height, but it still has comfortable seating with easy access. A lot of effort has been put into the design of vehicle's aluminum roll cage and full front and rear crash structure to meet the requirements of this segment of cars. The low price of 6,250 euros for the base model has attracted a lot of interest. Deliveries are expected for this vehicle in 2024. Development is also underway for a slightly larger and more powerful four-seater vehicle that will be in the L7 category. It will have a bench for two children at the rear. The motor power for the L7 Scott Solar will be 12 kilowatts. This high power will also give the vehicle a higher top speed of 70 kilometers per hour. So what do you think about the Scott Solar? Will it be as revolutionary as the Tesla in microcar segment? Do let me know in the comment section. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. 
Thank you for your attention.